Shoemaker, Shoemaker Guitar Works. How's it going? So, um, been working on this neck, and uh, you know, we've got the fret job pretty much done. I've still got to polish the frets, do the final polishing, but I want to put another couple coats of uh, oil on this fretboard just to bring it back because it was pretty darn dead. I've got, I had to replace binding in a couple little spots and I've got those uh, flattened out and whatever. But now um, I'm ready to move on with the guitar, uh, which I'm calling Raining Blood because check out this guitar. It's very, uh, very bloody looking, very metal. And uh, nothing makes a metal guitar more metal than a Floyd Rose, right? So one of the things I have to do here is put a Floyd in this guitar and I've got it all marked out here where uh, my Floyd's gonna go and uh, unfortunately I don't have a template so I'm gonna have to make one uh, but I still want to be able to know what, exactly where my Floyd should sit. So uh, got that going uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and bolt the neck on this thing because I want to kind of partway mock it up. So, where is it at? Beeswax, use it. Or candle wax, whatever, whatever you got. I prefer beeswax. You can even use car wax if you really want to, or furniture wax, whatever. I prefer to use beeswax. And just use my little torch here. Heat it up. Roll the neck bolt in beeswax and then melt it down it a little bit. Blow on it, let it dry. Same thing. Lather, rinse, repeat. I see on uh, Luthier pages on uh, Facebook all the time guys breaking their screws off and these are guys that do this stuff every day and this, this is the one thing that I always suggest to them is putting beeswax on their screws no matter how big or how small the screw is because uh, there's always possibility of it breaking and we don't want that to happen neck bolt wouldn't be so bad it's bigger and easier to get out but the uh, like if you break a bolt off for the tuner you, you might as well kiss that thing goodbye because uh, it makes it unless you have a drill press and very good drill press skills it makes it very hard to get one of these little tiny screws out uh, so this is actually a court and I thought it was a Jackson but since we're cloning a Jackson here, I've got a Jackson uh, heel plate that I'm putting on it for him. And he's actually got a really cool back plate that's made of uh, what looks like to be, uh, to me, stainless steel. So I'll show you that. So I'm going to kind of do the same uh, brushed uh, finish on the uh, neck plate for him, but still keep the Jackson name and the serial number back there. Well, we're pushing up. What's going on here? Start with the top two. Not so certain that this is the neck for this guitar. Yeah, the neck bolts aren't uh, lining up. Let's try that. See where that puts me in the neck pocket. I may have to plug and redrill holes here 
So I may be getting ahead of myself, but that's part of the reason why I'm doing a mock-up here. All right, the top two will go down. I think we're too far up in the pocket, but we'll see. I want it right about 26 inches from the end of the nut to the saddle. And that'll give me plenty of adjustment either way. This customer's a young kid and he uh, is a total metal head and he uh, painted this guitar himself and uh, I think it's really cool. All right, so when I put the Floyd in where it's supposed to sit, now I need my straight edge here. And I need the American side. So I'm measuring from the nut. to where the saddle's at. Yeah, we're close enough to where I'll have enough adjustment by the time I uh, get everything uh, set where it's supposed to be. So we're okay there. I've actually gotta make this hole bigger and then I'll have to route this down deep enough to recess this and route it out back here to where it can go, you know, you can wow or whoa. <laughs> Good way to put it, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so I'm just starting mock up on this thing, like I say, and uh, he's got this pit guardy painted with this hammer paint, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna have to modify it slightly to uh, to fit on here uh, around the Floyd, but that's okay. Um, and he wants me to cut this out to put another humbucker in it. So it's gonna be du dual humbuckers and a single in the middle. So kind of a super strat. Uh, very 80s metal themed guitar, you know? Uh, but anyway, so my next step that you will see on this guitar, there's gonna be two things. I'll be uh, polishing the frets and then put another uh, coat or two of, I'm um, using tongue oil on this just because the, the neck was so bad or the uh, fretboard was so bad. And then uh, doing my final measurements and then cutting the uh, recess for the Floyd, so. Anyway, we'll bring you back when that happens. I'm also gonna have to cut it out here, make like a swimming pool route for the, uh, so I can put another humbucker in it. All right, so I wanted to bolt the neck up because I needed to uh, check scale length and whatever and be able to mock that up so I can uh, uh, mark where the Floyd is gonna go in exact position. Um, and I'm also, I also have to uh, mark where I'm gonna put the humbucker here and uh, whatever else I'm gonna have to do routing wise. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, there will be a, more to this series and you have a great day.